was just newly married ndio ako tuna mtoto mmoja mwenye ako tuna months na ako na sisi aliamka tu akaniambia Lilian tomorrow at 9 am i don't want to see you in my house and it was like boom and mind you during this time uh, i had found uh, uh, a sponsor msamaria mwema mwenye alinilipia nafanya computer studies hivyo sasa nikamka nikaenda project nikaenda computer classes ilikuwa inaishanga saa kumi. so vile iliisha nikaenda kinyata sports ground ile iko kisumu nikalala hapo nikifiga niki where will i spend my night then all of a sudden a man stood by and asked me i've seen you here for like one hour and you look perturbed what is it me i thought god has answered my prayer and has brought an angel to help me so i opened up to the man nikamwambia mimi nimefukuzwa na vile unaniona hivi nimetoka college na sijui nitalala wapi na ndio hii usiku inaingia akaniambia ni hiyo tu usijali mimi nitakusaidia nitakupea palipa kukaa college utamaliza lini na mwambi imebaki 4 months twende tukaenda akani welcome vizuri na akakaa na mimi vizuri bila kunisumbua hata bila kuleta some nini some alarm ati ananitaka so the third week all of a sudden at night nika nikashtuka mtu anani undress kuamka hivi ni yeye akaniambia ati nimekusaidia na wewe ujarudisha mkono hata wewe pia you reciprocate so i felt shame on me i felt i was the one who was wrong cause me ndio nilijipeleka kwake i had no option just took warm water and massage and the following day they were back to normal but now the funny thing they were pain and i persisted to go back to work because this this job was not permanent neither was it a contract it was like a kibarua so i had to soldier around like a soldier so i went to work until now those bosses and i thank them wherever they are they had mercy on me and they contributed money and they advised me to go to the hospital in fact one referred me to his doctor at Kinyat where they did so many tests and they found out that i had problem with nerve nerve system so they prescribed some things that I, like radiotherapy but since i didn't have money and the way life taught me not to be a bother to someone i didn't go back to these directors and tell them that hey this is the report and i don't have money i just took that report and put under my bed and i told jesus you know what is either i die or i live now i met another mama who took me to now they used to do for me physiotherapy because this thing affected my spine I could not walk sometimes for two days but when I go for physiotherapy every day I can walk so I used to go every day kucha zangu zikatan black as a result of this thing za mikono na za miguu hata miguu za chini zilikuwa zimeoza na inatoa usaha so nikasema eh nimeachana na hii mambo ya kuchomwa na stima so nikaamua 
kama ni kifo ikuwe kifo nikaacha at some point in my life i contemplated committing suicide this is when i was sick my leg was paining i was out of the job and mind you i am just me there's nobody to lean on cuz i had so many problems that even my siblings separated themselves from me during this time i was all alone with my son i felt worthless i felt as if the world could swallow me but when i looked at my son how innocent he was i said i must soldier on i must live for my son i didn't want my son to be a street boy that is why i'm living my son is the reason why i'm living and i really love him when i'm counting my blessings i normally count him 10 times